Hi, my name is Ariam, and I'm here to tell you about my favorite part of the Reclaiming Vacant Properties conference that the Grounded team had the honor of attending earlier this month. Um, I learned a lot about how land loss prevention should really become a part of um, vacant land reclamation strategies. And what I mean by that is how do we prevent the the land, the unmaintained um, and land that we work on from becoming that way. And what we know is that a lot of our properties were once homes, homes that might have been abandoned um, and then condemned and torn down. And so how do we understand, you know, what happens before that house gets abandoned? What we learned at the conference was that um, you can quantify uh, threat of, of, of vacancy and, and blight around properties that may become divested. And this is to say properties that, you know, where someone might pass away and not have a plan for who's going to take care of their asset, um, their land, and so then it sits. And, and, and it's uncared for, and it becomes um, a negative effect on the community. And so how do we understand and help people to understand that they have the opportunity to, to stop vacancy before it even begins? And that is really um, about understanding estate planning, understanding having a will, understanding, you know, having a plan for how your house or your land is going to um, produce value for you and your family over generations. And what we know is that, you know, having a will and doing estate planning is something that um, the communities we, we often work in, low-income um, communities of color, don't have the luxury to think about at you know any given time. And so how can we connect those folks with the resources that will allow them to build long-term wealth through the land that they may own or the community land that um, they may you know, exist in in a public space uh, setting? So um, I'm really excited to see how Grounded can continue to contemplate that and maybe um, build that thinking into our work. So thanks.